I was dreading making this video, not because it's the last of the series, but it's because I have to admit to just how much I spent on the restoration of that Ducati project. Hey everyone, my name is Matt, welcome to Roads of Oz, and instead of it just being me talking to you, I might want to, I'm just going to distract you down here with the actual bike being run. So I printed up a list of what I actually spent on the Ducati and I thought it's good to go through it just to give you an idea of exactly what a project like this would actually cost. So we'll, we'll start off, sorry I'm going to be looking up and down at the screen constantly. So the initial purchase, $2,500. Now that was, you saw the bike in its most basic state. The engine had been, um, all the belts and all the servicing had been done on the motor, the carbs rebuilt, so that was good value there. The panel repair, $350. The decals, $365. The paint, $2,240. The screen, $100. And that came to just under $3,000 as I covered off in the previous video. The seat retrim, well, needed a new seat as you saw. I went to a, a professional retrimmer that specializes in um, motorcycle seats. And for the seat to be retrimmed and also some um, better foam put it installed, $400. Parts. Now, there was three supplies I used. First one was Desimo HQ, the right hand switch block, $274, the indi an indicator relay, $73. Starter relay, $85.27. Mirrors, $313.12. And there was a few other things in with those items as well. And a fuel filter, ignition relay, there was another $85 there. Uh, other miscellaneous parts like bolts, specialized bolts for the Ducati, well, what I thought was specialized. If I'd done proper research, I probably got these a lot cheaper, but there was another $121 spent. That also includes shipping. Uh, that also included $25 in each of those was shipping as well. So I spent a bit on shipping. For Moto Ateo, there was a, a new fuel pump and also a couple of other little bits and pieces that come to $192.93. From Gowan Locks, Ferry Mount Brackets, $109. Another $65, actually another $100 in just miscellaneous parts that um, if one place didn't have I'd call Gowan locks, they generally had the stuff in stock. Uh, miscellaneous items, I was about 10 bucks spent at Bunnings and I bought, a, I bought a headlight bracket for $240, which I ended up not using. The grand total, and I haven't even got into registration yet. Oh, also mechanical labor to put all those parts on the bike was $600. So that brings the grand total to $8,155.08. That hasn't even, haven't even covered off on Rego yet. Rego was $287, uh, sorry, the green slip $287, Rego $224, and comprehensive insurance is $350. Now, I'm not gonna count those last three items because it's different for everyone across the state. If you're a different age, different, can, different um, address, all those things can have an impact on rego and insurance. But just to get the bike to where it is, and it's absolutely gorgeous, I've got to admit, $8,155. Now, am I gonna see that money back on that bike? Absolutely fucking not. No, you can see they're getting sold for about six grand. But for $8,155, I probably, probably could have bought, uh, about eight grand, you can buy a rough version of the 900 but again, you'd probably spend all that again just to get it to where the 600 is now. So there is more money to spend on it. As, as I said in the previous video, it needs a new fuel tap. They're about $35 and I want to get a new exhaust. There are a couple of things I want to talk, get re-sprayed. So that would be the uh, clip-ons and the rear number plate bracket. Apart from that, I'm going to enjoy it as is. Now, there are some things I can sell. I've got a, a rear rack for it. I've got a... Um, a fuel tank guard, um, also that headlight bracket. I could potentially sell that to recoup some money, and I'd probably make you know anywhere from five hundred to seven hundred and fifty dollars there. But really, I don't see me doing that. Would I do it again? 
Absolutely. It's been fun, it's been frustrating, but the end result, it's a gorgeous bike. Now, I've always wanted this style of Ducati. Admittedly, I wanted the 900, but I've got the 600, and I am very happy with it. I do love riding it. Um, at the moment, our, our weather here in Sydney is making sure it doesn't go out much, but that's just what it is. Fingers crossed um, I'll be out riding it more in the summer. I definitely want to be riding it far more regularly than what I am at the moment. Anyway, that's pretty much it for me. I said I'd share, this is the final video in the Ducati 600 Supersport restoration video. Definitely more riding videos to come of it, but I wanted to finish on that note. And like I said, anyone can restore a bike I didn't actually do the restoration, I was, I was little more than a project manager slash funds manager for getting the bike back to its um, roadworthy status. Anyway, for those that have been watching, thank you so much for sticking with me and giving me the support and encouragement to get it back on the road. Finally got there, um, got the shirt, so, so as I said, I'm hoping it's trouble free motor, but being a 20 odd year old Italian motorcycle, I can guarantee there's gonna be issues down the track. But that that's pretty much with all bikes of that age. Anyway, that's pretty much it from me. If you liked the video, please like, share, and if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next vid.